So you just got your new Fire Stick for the holidays or for your birthday. You take it out of the box, you plug it in, and you sign into your Amazon account. Now what's the first thing that you do? No, not watch American Gangster Trap Queens. You need to turn off these five default settings on the Fire Stick and do it now. So there are some settings that are on by default on your Fire Stick and you really need to change them right away. It's very simple to do and you can do it in less than five minutes. And you'll want to stick around to the end of the video for a very important bonus tip. In fact, this may be the most important tip of all of them. So grab your Fire Stick remote and let's get started. Number five, featured content. This one is really annoying as Amazon wants to stream ads for the programs they're promoting right on your home screen. It really bogs down your Fire Stick's operating system and can really slow things down. Now here's how to turn it off. We're gonna go over to settings, which is right here, this gear icon, and look for preferences. Click on preferences, and then we're gonna scroll down to featured content. Now you see by default, allow video autoplay is on and allow audio autoplay is on. Just click on it, turn, it on, turn them both off. We've eliminated feature content, but it's still scrolling through different content here. So it seems like no matter what you do, they're gonna to advertise to you. Now these aren't video scrolls, but they are ads that they're feeding to you. So even though we've turned off the video portion, you're still gonna get these ads. It's amazing. Number four, collect app usage data. This next one is very suspect and yet another sneaky way for Amazon to collect data on what you're watching. If you read the description, it says that their app store collects information on the frequency and duration of use of downloaded apps in order to improve the app store experience and the quality of the apps we make available. Sure, we do it all for you. If you wanna trust that Amazon has your best interest at heart, you can leave it on if you want to. Me, I'm gonna turn it off. So again, we're gonna scroll over to settings and we're gonna find preferences again and then go to privacy settings. Scroll down to where it says collect app usage data and we're gonna turn it off. Number three, interest-based ads. Here's another one I just love, not. This one builds an advertising profile on you so they can target you with even more advertising. I don't know about you, but I don't wanna be targeted with anything. If I wanna buy something, I'll do my own research and read the reviews. Then I can make my own judgment. I don't need Amazon pumping ads at me on every internet site that I visit. Just trying to sell me something I don't even know if I want or not. I can do that for myself. I'm gonna turn it off. For this one, we're gonna go back to the preferences and find the privacy settings once again. So scroll back over to settings, go down to preferences, go to privacy settings, scroll down to interest-based ads, and just turn it off. Number two, in-app purchases. Unless you live alone with no children or tenants in the house, this isn't something you need to have turned on. It's just gonna cause problems somewhere down the line. If you have subscriptions to newspapers or magazines, you're probably already viewing them on your tablet or on your laptop. So unless you're playing games on your Fire Stick where you wanna purchase additional in-game content, take my advice and just turn it off. Here's how we do it. Go back to settings once again, and we're gonna find applications. Click on applications. Then we're gonna go down to app store. Once you're in app store, look for in-app purchases and turn it off. Now, before I get to number one and my bonus tip, let me take a minute to tell you about the VPN that I use. It's called IP Vanish. It's a virtual private network and keeps your data private while you're surfing or streaming on the internet. If you do your banking or your shopping online, or you just wanna keep your internet searches private, you really wanna protect yourself with a VPN. A VPN creates a private internet tunnel for you that even your internet service provider can't break into, let alone a hacker that wants to retrieve your personal information for their own purposes. And it's especially important in these days of cryptocurrency where there is no federal government insuring your funds and you wanna keep your data and your money safe from hackers. That's why I recommend IPVanish. 
It's a no-log VPN, which is really important when you're looking for a VPN service. It's also very fast if you've experienced difficulties in the past with a VPN slowing down your internet speeds. And right now, if you click on my discount link below, they have huge savings on their annual plans. So don't leave yourself unprotected. Sign up now for IP Vanish, the best VPN on the planet. That brings us to number one, and probably the most important setting for you to change right now. And that's your privacy settings. I recommend that you turn this off immediately. Amazon is just collecting your personal data for marketing and product improvement purposes. I don't know about you, but I'm a little tired of being tracked by Amazon, Google, Facebook, and everyone else for that matter. I know that it's virtually impossible to get rid of all tracking nowadays, but at least we can eliminate the obvious culprits. Turn this one off now. Scroll over to settings, go down to preferences, go into privacy settings, go into device usage, and turn it off. Now, if you've made it this far and you find this content useful, please take a minute to hit that subscribe button and notification bell below so you don't miss any of my future videos. It really does help me out. Okay, now for the bonus tip, and that's the Fire Stick screensaver. This one's a big one. It may be one of the most important things that you turn off right now. If not the most important, it's definitely one of the most annoying. It's the built-in Amazon Fire Stick ad machine. It seems like I'm being advertised to everywhere these days, and I'm sick of it. The screensaver is set to turn on by default after five minutes. And when it does, you're no longer greeted with beautiful panoramic images from around the globe. Oh no, not beautiful images. Advertising. You get these really annoying full screen ads. And beware, because if you happen to press the play pause button, let's say you take a break, you go to the bathroom, the screensaver comes on. You come back, you want to restart your show, you automatically hit that play pause button, right? Well, it doesn't take you back to your show that you were watching. It takes you right to the show that they're advertising. Super annoying. So here's how you turn it off. Go back to settings, go down to display and sounds, and we're gonna go into screensaver. Now here's all the default settings. You'll see start time is five minutes. You can scroll down and just set it to never. It's not gonna hurt your fire stick. It's just gonna turn off those annoying ads. Or another option is in your start time, you can just set it to the maximum of 15 minutes. If you're not gonna take a break for any longer than a few minutes to run to the fridge or to go to the bathroom, it's not gonna go into the screensaver. So I hope this video helped you out, guys. If it did, check out this other video right here for more in-depth information on the settings you should be turning off on your Fire Stick right now. This is Rich Man. I'll see you in the next video.